So, uh, <coughs> John, here it is. I've painted the cover for your book, This Other London, and uh, I've painted it on. Uh, <coughs> I painted it on a bit of uh, my piano. I sawed it up because I just thought this colour would be perfect for your this other London book because it's an old London piano I think it was made in uh, on the metal frame of it I think it says uh, it's made in um, uh, at, the bo uh, King at the bottom of Kingsland Road and uh, and uh, I thought uh, I know I know exactly the thing this little panel from underneath the keyboard would be the perfect thing and so I took it off and I uh, painted um, painted um, John Rogers, This Other London Adventures in the Overlooked City on it. <laughs> now, what's the font of it? Well, <coughs> I thought uh, initially, I thought I would do it uh, in a kind of uh, quite blocky sort of font. And then I thought, well, actually, uh, you need a bit of variety between the author and the title and the byline. So, uh, I thought I'd do it in this slightly 60s looking font and then I italicised it a little bit, lent it over to the left a little bit. Uh, so that's uh, meant to be looking quite modern, <laughs> it's modernist in a 60s sort of way. And then when I did this I just saw when I think when you I think somebody typed through what it was and it came up as Times Roman and I thought oh I'll stick a few serifs in, in there and actually that looked very the word London I always think it just looks fantastic with a few serifs because of because of the times of London I think and uh, that's a very classic font isn't it but then I've painted it in my slightly uh, you know hand painted slightly wobbly way and it looks a bit strange and mildly like some sort of mad medieval person might have painted that I think but anyway, it, so it's got a few serifs on there, and I think that looks a bit, uh, um, perhaps ha has a bit more authority, comes with the serif, doesn't it? And then this, uh, because that's a byline, I thought I'd use a kind of fruit, um, a fruiterer's uh, kind of, it's a bit, um, yeah, it looks a bit uh, uh, Comic Sans, that, uh, but... Uh, but then I also thought it would look a bit like um, a, um, you know, maybe like uh, somebody who's got a fruit stand out might be have lemons or chestnuts or something. So, so I painted that in that style. The thing is, a book jacket's got to really jump out at you, hasn't it? And uh, this bit of Edwardian piano is quite doer and grand, and I thought that would stand for, uh, I thought that would stand for London. And uh, but then I made the colours quite poppy uh, because I thought that would stand for the uh, <coughs> uh, more modern intellectual rigour which your uh, which John Rogers is uh, applying to the book. Uh, so that would make it a bit groovier. <laughs> when I bought it, I had a, a wave of enthusiasm and made up all these. Uh, you know, I mean, I can only play major chords basically on the major chord, so I made up all these songs with that major chord, and uh, um, and uh, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with that piano. So it's, it breaks my heart to it. Yeah, it's very sad. That first saw cut right into the middle of it—that was quite a tough decision. <laughs> That's quite difficult to live with for the rest of the day. But once I got into it, it became quite exciting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a terrible thing to do. Because you can see it was actually quite a nice piano, you know. Um, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see, look, it's got a nice profile there. <laughs> So it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of layers of history in it. This piano, like your book as well, layers of history of London. I think. 